Today, you are greeted by this wonderful purple glitch. Ow. You gotta love good quality videos. This was basically a video I made about four months ago talking about the future of this channel. And it was not a good video. It was boring. And I actually did show a bunch of things like my 3D printer that still have issues. So let's get into them. For those of you who have joined since I actually started and bought this printer, this is an Ender 3 S1 Pro base model. I don't know if you can spec out a printer and it's broken. If you have joined though recently, cause my channel's like doubled in subscribers, we're at 40, we were at 20 two weeks ago. That is insane, let's keep this growth up. But this thing is just not doing very well in the slightest. Um, the bed is warped from trying to play around with it and trying to get it working. So what I did to it is I put, as you can see this little tape underneath. And this was hoping so that I can use the um, CR Touch, which helps automatically level the bed, in Octoprint to make it so the bed is just level. It worked a little bit, but it only works for a few prints, and then I have to spend another like a few hours working on it. So I haven't had that much of any inspiration to actually work on this, with which kind of feels like useless junk that I don't really need. I mean, I have printed some really good prints. Like I printed this and this went really well. There's some like right here, you have a little bit of where the mesh looks really crummy. If I zoom in, you can see it's very, um, like, listen. It's not smooth. And I guess that's like obviously not good. But it does actually look pretty good the rest of it. It printed decently, didn't fail, which I guess obviously didn't fail, it printed goofy. And then I also printed this little thing up here. That was just solely because it was something that annoyed me. Um, I'll zoom in fully, this is going to look terrible. But it just keeps the spool of filament, it keeps that looking good. So that's that. So that's just a little bit of what's going on with this thing. I did make another update video. I have made so many update videos on this thing. It's kind of a pain. But there are um, some other things we need to get to in here. So how about we go into the next. This next thing is my collection. As you can see, I have made a short about this, which did okay, because I clickbaited the title. This is my phone box collection. And you know, it's pretty good. I have a lot of phones and boxes, quite obviously. I have my MacBook box. But the only reason things I really use a lot is this iPhone 8 is really useful sometimes for getting secondary shots. Or if my current phone is timed out and I wanna shoot something. But we have an HTC One M8 that I made a video on. And Samsung Galaxy S4, which was featured in said video. An HTC Phone 8X, which was also featured in the video. Um, an HTC Droid, which has a broken display connector, so it doesn't work correctly, or at all, because you can't see what's going on. This iPod Gen 4, which works decent. The camera looks like pure garbage. I'll put up a, what that camera looks like. An iPod Classic. iPod Nano, an iPod whatever this is, um, I don't know, I'll figure it out, I'll put it on screen. And then we have three flip phones, two AirPod Pro boxes, because my mother and brother both got them, so apparently they're that good. There are an iPhone 6S box, another iPhone 6X box, this Wii that is broken, but it's still cool for displays an iPhone 12, iPhone 14, and iPhone 14 Pro boxes, um, an iPhone 10R box, another iPhone 10R box, an iPhone 10S box, I don't even know what I have it from, my AirPods box, an iPhone 5S box, and in the back there we have two iPhone 4S boxes. Then up here we have my MacBook box, and then we still have the same arrangement up top that we did before. But that's just basically my tech collection. These headphones really suck. I tried to replace the batteries, or at least see if they were replaceable, but they're soldered on, so poop. But like, 
it really does look quite good. This is my phone. This is the 14 Pro that I made a ton of videos on. And this phone is actually insane. Oh my god, I get stuff all over the screen. But this thing is so good. It is really a phone that you, I could recommend to anyone. It's powerful, has an amazing camera. The Dynamic Island is actually quite gimmicky, but very useful. Like, I use it all the time for switching between listening to audio and listening to a YouTube video. But it's just so cool. This phone is so reliable. I can honestly trust this thing to do pretty much anything. The camera is insane, which I've already said. It's running iOS, very stable. Like, they really put so much care into these phones, and it shows. Every little flicker on the UI, you swipe up and there are no apps open. When you click on there, when you open an app, like, it just looks so good. Gameplay is so good. Like, I could, if you could run, like, actual proper games on here, I would do it, and it would perform very well. I mean, I guess I could run, like, I mean, I guess I can do Asphalt 9. I can test that. Um, anyone else notice that they changed the car? I don't like that as much. I think the orange looks a little more... I don't like that orange that much. Let's see the loading time. I saw mine on here. You know, my Wi-Fi has been just crummy all over the board. But like, there we go. We're in the game. Oh, okay, good. It's a dog. I'm gonna make sure that wasn't an emoji of myself. It's just, a, it's just a dog. Okay. Um, let's just do a race. I haven't really played that much. I mean, I kind of have. Let's just do this random race that I've already done. Anyway, um, I honestly don't remember if this is on tilt drive or touch drive or what this is on, so we'll figure that out. And look, that, that look graphic looks really good. Okay, this is on touch drive, isn't it? Yeah. Like, this looks so good. also has really good app support. Like I said earlier, it's running iOS. These things are insane. Do you ever? I suck at this game. Anyway, um, as you can see behind me, we do have a MacBook. So how about we start talking about that? I guess we can go through what I have on it. I have some wallpapers that I use interchangeably. I have a few wallpapers up, but if I go into system, system settings, which honestly system preferences is better. Don't show me, don't show you my parents and photos of me. Anyway, down here I just have, I used this for a video. It sucked. That video was terrible. Can I delete this? No. Okay, anyway. And then I just have this that just rotates through a bunch of wallpapers every single time it wakes up. And that's really convenient and really cool. Um, I do like the Apple wallpapers, but I have 130 of them, so I won't get bored ever. Um, I actually don't know why it got rid of the thing I already had up. I go in there, add it back. There we go. We got the blue pixels. There we go. Now we have those. Blue. You know what? Let's go back to those. This is random and stupid. Anyway, now we have the M2 MacBook Air wallpaper. Big deal. Anyway, so that's just some wallpapers. Then I have logos because I don't like having to find them in folders and everything all the time. Then I have just a stack of folders. I like my desktop to be neat and organized. My teacher's desktops at school, they just give me so much anxiety because there's like folder here, folder here, folder here. Fo it just looks really messy. But if they are watching this, you're great teachers. Depend actually depends on who you are. But anyway, um, back to this video. Um, this is just every single video I've made that's in archive that I just keep on my computer. This is just 2023 and this is 2022. You know, not really that many. I'm pretty sure it's at 52 videos, but yeah. Um, current archive folder. Um, this is just the current one. So this is 2023 right now. Just makes it easier for me to throw videos in there when I'm done working on them. 
um, effects, which are the YouTube effects I have. I, I thought I had more than that. Yeah, this is how much I should have. I don't know. Anyway, uh, these are um, just the entire folder with them. Just going through this in depth. Wow. Music stuff I pulled off YouTube's music thing because I don't feel like getting copyrighted for music. Print codes, what I'm working on, but this is insane. This is just for other things. I don't even think I need this. Anyway, don't need that. And then just OS files, which I'll show you why I need them later. But now let's go through like web browsers and that sort of thing. Uh, we have Safari and Chrome. I use both of them regularly. I usually, I do have Safari set as my default. That's just solely because it's just so you don't need this to think. I don't use Safari's at main homepage. Google.com is just better, has more things on it, but it's not bad. Like, Safari is, doesn't have as many power tools as Chrome, but it also is a lot better with your data and takes a lot less battery life. Well, speaking of which, the battery life on this thing is insane. So good. Next, we have Chrome. I use Chrome just, just because of mainly YouTube. Like, YouTube just works so well on Chrome. Anyway, the things I actually do at Bookmark are Apple, Newsroom, YouTube stuff, ChatGPT, Schoology, which I use for school, Octoprint for 3D printing, Amazon, UPS, iFixit, Thingiverse, Cloud, Cloud Convert, which is just converting things, uh, repair things like eBay for if I want to get some research, so Mac Gamer, Mac Rumors, Ample Insider, and Front Page Tech, and Utilities, just checking iCloud, App Icons, and PNG.ICNS, which is what I sometimes need to make those icons. And this is, I don't even know what these are. I'll figure out when they are later. In Chrome Apps, again, Web Store, VidIQ, which is actually pretty sick. But that launched the app icon looks so much better than the rest of them. Anyway, it has um, basically just ideas if I type in, I don't know, MacBook. It shows me it has a 45% score. If I type in something else like AirPods, AirPods have a lower score because there's a lot of comp It just factors in how well things videos will perform, so I try and make videos that people actually want to see. Then, um, just view counts because they're just okay. Like, they're down this month, so how about you try and get them back up? It's this week, not this month. Anyway, Chrome, Chrome Remote Desktop is pretty cool, so I can access it from my phone. The next main app that I use is Instagram, which I can't go on because that is photos of myself. Photos, which I suppose photos of myself. Messages, which has stuff. Emails, because I just use mail because it's just easier. It's, it's a no-brainer. It works well with the iPhone and the Mac ecosystem. Find my notes, track my parents. Notion, which has actually been really sick for making YouTube shorts. It loads. Oh, crap. It has my name. Did not realize that. Okay. Um. Uh, but it says um, for the title... I have like the title, I don't know why it's the clickbait title, just because I guess to remember, make it so people want to watch it, which is literally what every YouTuber does, but I just leave them up because I'm too lazy to get them rid of them later, but title, um, script, because I script these, I did not script this, quite obviously, um, then we have planned b-roll, so just the b-roll and stuff, and the description, which I almost never put in here, and then this is, this is hopefully what I, how it usually works, but I actually do want to start making a second short on Fridays, but we can talk about that more later. Um, next, we have podcasts, because I like podcasts, and YouTube. If you have noticed, I have changed the icon. But if you are wondering, this is um, who I'm subscribed to, my friend, most everything Apple. Not his actual name. Don't worry. Hero 921 is not my actual name. My parents are that dumb. Mac address, because... It's just interesting. The editing is really good, but that also means there's one every couple, like, months. It's actually been really good recently. Hmm. Mine is tech tips because they just mass-produce videos. Six hours ago, one day ago, three days ago, three days ago, four days ago, six days ago, seven days ago, eight days Like, it's just very... Uh, it's just very mass producey. That's not a word. Anyway, Kamen18, because I do enjoy Minecraft. But I do like his videos. There's one short every day, which I think is probably the right amount of videos if you're not doing school or something. Jerry Rig everything because his videos are just very interesting. 
the studio because I do like behind the scenes, which is kind of what this video is. Tech Prodigy, which actually, guys, go subscribe to this guy. He just hit 1K. Um, with 54 videos, wow. And they are a lot better the edited than mine, and he's been doing it for like two years. But this guy is really good. Go subscribe to him. Shiloh and Bros. I don't know. Actually, they have five more. I don't even really watch them. I just. I don't even know why I'm subscribed to them. Uh, Marquez Brownlee, because. Marquez Brownlee. Like. This video that he posted today, or. I don't know if this is today or yesterday. I don't know when I'm posting this. But today it is April 1st. Like today, today when I'm filming this. And this is his smartphone words thing. It took me till halfway through the thing to realize it was an April Fool's joke. He kept saying the S23 Ultra was amazing and the best for everything. It was, it took me so long to figure that out. I'm annoyed at myself. Then we have Luke Miani. I like his videos. His videos, no offense to him, no offense, but I usually turn them on and go do something else and listen to them because they're not the most interesting visually. But they're very interesting to listen to. I don't know if that's also the fact that he does a lot of podcasts, like, once a week. Oh, gotta love Dark Mode. But then, like, yeah, it's... His videos are good. They're just not the most engaging and energetic. But that's kind of with the whole tech genre, anyway. Mr. is the boss because I made so many... Like, I really... this guy, I really like this guy's videos. They're so interesting, and they just seem very non-like youtubers nowadays also might have screwed up my youtube channel so i really hope this actually goes up anyway um that's youtube and then i have just youtube studio i don't even know why i put a netflix icon on it um that's just part of youtube what 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 yeah i gotta blur a lot of things davinci resolve this is a big one this is how this video is going to be edited this video it usually takes a little bit to launch because this is an actual like pro app. This thing is insane. Like, look at this. This has an actual front thing anyway. This is my most recent video short, and all the all the files are deleted, so it is not happy. Now I have to launch again and make a new one. Um, don't know why I just didn't do that earlier. But anyway, this is like a proper video editor. We throw in things in this little media area. Um, and then I usually spend 99% of my time in the edit area. I can watch the video or not. And then I never spend, I barely ever spend any time in here. Don't usually spend time doing much of this. It's usually just for shots to look a little bit cooler. And then music, almost never spending time in here. And then deliver, okay, yeah, I spend time in here. This is how you render videos. This is a proper video editor that I actually can recommend. It's kind of confusing. It's not as okay, let's just get started as CapCut. But it's pretty good. I could recommend it. Next thing is Kino. Um, I was trying to make, I've been thinking about renaming my channel. I just think my 2 ones an odd name. But I also like it. Let me know in the comments if you think I should and what I should name it if I do. Then we have Cura for 3D printing again. Octoprint, which for 3D printing again. Notes, which I actually have some of the stuff in this video on. And OS Launcher, which is really just UTM that I renamed. But this is actually really cool. This is going to run window. I might've just screwed it up. Uh, I screwed up my Windows uh, 10 file. Does Windows, Windows 11 doesn't work either. Let's go, breaking things 101. I'll reinstall them later. But that's what the OS files are from. Um, I guess I'll see you guys when they actually are reinstalled so I can show you what they look like. 2,000 years later. It's only been an hour. My sanity is dead. Anyway, we've got both of them up. This is Windows 10, we are running it. And this is unactivated Windows, there is no way to activate it. But I did get the game that I tried earlier, and that's the whole reason I did this. I spent so long doing this, and I'm so happy I finished. But I didn't even go through and delete all the bloatware, and I really wish Windows would add natural scrolling. But besides just Windows 10, we have Windows 11. Let's go. I changed it to dark mode, because dark mode is better. 
but I haven't played around with any of these things, getting rid of blower and stuff. But I think we should honestly go back to Mac OS. And I'm gonna stop with these virtual machines because they really take up a lot of power. If you are trying to do one of these on an older Intel machine, just use Boot Camp. It's just easier. But anyway, I guess this is kind of my setup for the MacBook. This thing is insane. I use this all the time for video editing, everything. It is amazing. Couldn't recommend it more. But now, let's go on to, honestly, the future of this channel as a channel. So, it's no surprise that YouTube Shorts make up most of the views on this channel. I'm not making money from it. I just do this thing because it's fun. Like, if you look at subscriber growth and that sort of thing in here, if Studio actually works correctly, um, with analytics, plus 3.2K views over the past few days, this is what identifies a YouTube video, and this is a short. I can start to see. This is a YouTube video, this is a short. Look at how much more the shorts to get. Like, that's no surprise. I mean, I go through literally my entire time. Okay, come on, work. It's so blurry, oh my god. 60, 67,337 views. If we go onto my house porn video, there's one. Wow, it's P like Y Apple. That's, that's a photo of Marcus Brownlee. I think that's one of the reasons that video did so well. Same thing for this. This is a demonic photo of uh, Tim Cook. This has an iPad. It's such, like you have to clickbait videos, but I really wish YouTube would let you change the thumbnail of a short because that's really what boosts these shorts is the thumbnails people actually click on them i honestly thought this video would do a lot better this is the sweet home alabama uh apple animations i thought that would do better but i don't know if people didn't know who kim cook is but i don't know anyway um you can't change the thumbnail of a short so like say i want to go on here the thumbnail usually is right here it says for now you can't change it you can't change it in general. It doesn't even the info button doesn't even work. But like the future of this channel is gonna be more shorts. I do wanna do two a day. Because they do so well. Like they're so I find them honestly a lot more interesting than the long videos. Which is kind of funny because I put a lot more time into the long videos. But I think we're gonna start having one short on Wednesday and one short on Friday, and we'll see how that goes. But if you did enjoy this video, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.